Who are you on the couch, the stranger? July 2021, back in the present, okay. After that, I continued making games alone. Something designed for hype? Having reason behind creation? I try not to think about any of that. And then, I finally made one game. Okay, I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get this one right, but I have really have to think things through. Oh, God. I think this kicked my ass. This, is a, this level is in the demo. And I couldn't quite figure it out. Okay. So I need this brick here. I can move here. I do. I can try to be clever, right? I know that if I lay a brick there, I can jump horizontally that far, but this gets me nowhere because I need to do that, right? The problem is the height. I don't know if it's even doable, honestly. Okay, maybe I can go here. If I did it like this, I wouldn't be able to make it. Okay. I feel like I need that third brick, but I can't recover it. Go back here. Sure. Problem. Can't go back up. Same deal. Uh, okay, maybe... That's the pixel I can land on, no problem. What if I do... I just can't. Can't do that. Can't do that. There is something I could try, maybe. Well, no, I can't, because I'm only ever going to have two bricks on either side. I could do this. <laughs> Frustration, right? Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh! Oh! Yo! Okay. Smart. Yo! Okay. Okay. But I've only got one brick right now. Shoot. Um, I don't feel confident, but let's go. Um, no, that's gonna kill me. I can't do that. But maybe... I go here. Now that I know how to do that, maybe I can bring that over to this side. Okay. Bam, bam. 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 Uh, 
Okay, I have no idea what's on the ground there. This is not fair. All right. Oh, yes, good bricks, good bricks. Good game, good game. Okay. I think now what I'm supposed to do is actually maybe bring this up here. Okay. Okay, no. Okay, now I can bring these bricks with me and go over here. So now I have two bricks. Three, if I count that. No, two, because I'm going to have to use one here. So here's the problem. I can... Oh! <laughs> Gotta set the brick. <laughs> I should set the damn brick. Okay, that's fine. Alright, but I know the deal now. I know the deal. I think I can... No, I gotta go back here. Nothing, well, I could explore that, but I'm not. Well, what if I did, right? I don't know if I explored this. Okay. I can. No, that's not going to help. Okay, so there's a key up there. I have to get there to clear the level. Okay, I feel good about this run. Even though I'm going to use up uh, two bricks here. Alright. Going to use that brick here. The key is likely across this, but I'm going to have to conserve... Oh. I think I'll do... Jump on this. Ooh, jump on that. Cool. Alright. Create brick there. Key. Okay. Jump, jump. Okay, I think we are in the clear now. This was a. <clears throat> this is tough. This was tough. This is a tough one to figure out, but I, I, this is clever. I like it. the key, though. I have the key. Did I push the wrong button? Hold up. Or do I have to actually... Hold up. 
and be right next to it? Okay. Okay, I have to be standing on solid ground. Interesting. Okay, that was that was a good level. Good level. Hmm. Well, it's certainly playable. Thank you. So, what do you think? You're asking if we'd publish this, right? Well, the answer is no. Um, why? You've brought in a really old console. You know we don't publish for this, right? <laughs> I don't mean for it to be published specifically for that console. Really. What's the sales pitch? Well, you know what? At least the publisher beat it. <laughs> At least he was smart enough to beat that level, okay? By that, by, by that I mean me. I was smart enough to beat that. It's made to run on retro consoles. That's pretty unique. That doesn't add up. That doesn't add much to actual gameplay, does it? Limited run games. <laughs> In fact, that would limit distribution. That's a negative to me. Besides, if the customer were to choose, wouldn't they prefer to play one of the old masterpieces? Why would they choose to play a fake retro game? <laughs> By an unknown creator. Oh. 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 That's brutal. But I'm playing the fake retro game. <laughs> and I like it. It happens surprisingly often. That in pursuit of originality, creators lose perspective. I just... Just what? I just want to make something I truly want to create. <sighs> that would be totally fine if you were doing it as a hobby. Take a good look around you. Now, this is an office. We're a company doing business. If you could make money by simply doing what you want, life would be so easy. To be honest, what caught my eye in your games wasn't the game itself. It was the pixel art Ms. Kumare created. Ooh. That's brutal. And now that that's gone, I don't see any value in the games you bring me. Ooh. Yeah, fuck Overwatch. <laughs> you mentioned you two separated because of artistic differences. What are you, an indie band? Are you sure Miss Kamari didn't leave because you started making games that won't sell? Oh. Kumari didn't! Ooh. Kumari didn't... What? I thought you came here to talk. I mean, he's trashy, sure. <laughs> but, I mean, at least he's not... Activision bad. <laughs> Activision Blizzard bad. At least, at least it isn't as horrific as working in, in one of those offices. Only Kumare saw value in the games I made. Oh no. I know why Kumari left. The real reason why. Oh. What are we doing? Okay. 
Okay, cool. I kind of... <laughs> I, I, I would enjoy it if I could play this game. If I could play Blocks as like a separate mode all the way through. Uh, maybe after I, I beat the main story. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Can I make that jump? And I've got no bricks. I guess I have to. Oh. Okay, it recedes enough. I'm gonna have to do this. That was a bit ambitious. Okay. We kill these guys. Cool. Grab that. Stand here. Cool. I like that I can hear the train still. Alright. I think I can make that jump. Yes, I can. But I won't be able to grab that key down there. Let's see where this leads me. I feel really anxious without having a brick. But I think that's the point. Can I make this jump? Yes, I can. Cool. Am I going to survive? Yes, I will. But I cannot use a brick to kill the bat. So I... Oh, man. This is not a good space to be in. <laughs> yeah, see? Alright. Let's get pumped. Let's uh, prime the oil here. Jump. Like, I need to see if there's any way I could play that better. Like, if there's a way I can actually bring one of these with me. No, that would be dumb. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, because if I grab that brick right here... It's pointless. I, I can't use it. I'm going to have to leave it behind anyway. Yeah, I think this is, like, the, my only choice. Can't go up there. Grab that. Grab that. Oh, jump up here. So this is tough, but I think I can do it if I jump over the bat. There! Fuck! <laughs> okay. Wait a second. That was almost real bad. <laughs> I killed the shit out of that Goomba. And that Goomba, too. Oh, no, no, that'd be dumb. There we go. It kind of doesn't help that the, the, the Game Boy is shaking here. Okay. Moment of truth. Kind of. Okay. I'm gonna 
What? What animal am I? What? <laughs> I can jump here. It's kind of bullshit that I cannot kill the bat. Can I just... Can I just do a neutral jump over it? Okay. Maybe I can do that. I need to time it really right. I need to time it with the lava. If I'm gonna jump down there... And then jump over the bat. Bam. Okay. Did it. I made it happen. Ah, cool. Cool. Coolio. Cool beans. Get that. Get the brick. Kill that bat. <laughs> okay, now that I have two of these... I can just do that with no problem. I should be safe. If I do that, jump here. Alright, I'm not out of the woods yet. I need to run underneath, uh, underneath this platform here as soon as I can, because it's a long run. There we go. Ooh, I can place it mid-jump! That's smart. Smart video game. Maybe I can do it like that. Yup! That's right. Good game! Good video game! We got the prize because of you, Kamade. Thank you, thank you for the GGs. All the judges praised the visuals. They didn't really talk about the game itself. Are you being humble? You know I'm not the sort. Yeah, I do. Hey, do you know why I asked to do the art for your games. Why? Because I was looking for someone that could draw pixel art. And you wanted to try your hand at it. Right? I wouldn't have offered for that reason alone. I hadn't even talked to you before, after all. Then why? Oh. In my freshman year, I went to the exhibition held by students in programming. You know? The one for end-of-year projects? Must have been boring. All the games displayed were poor copies of hit games. And I was a bit disappointed. I bet. But then... I, I, uh... Philly, I need to take a look at that hype clip. <laughs> I need to see. I'm curious. I will a little later. There was this desk with a single console placed on it. Everybody was doing their best to promote what they made. Calling out to people to come play. But nobody was at that desk. And it was apparent nobody was going to come. Nobody took notice of that game. So I decided to give it a go. The game felt so nostalgic. It brought back memories of games I used to play as a kid. Knowing there was someone in school that could make something like that made me really happy. Can you tell who I'm talking about? Connie-chan, your game really touched me. It was a coincidence we met at the teacher's room that day. But I'd been waiting for a chance to talk to you forever. I was gonna say, let's make a game together. That's why I don't want you to think you did nothing to deserve the prize. 
Sphinx. Well, to be fair, I also thought it would be better if I did the graphics instead. <laughs> huh. Connie-chan, you know, you can afford to be more confident. I won't get a full-time job after I graduate. I thought you said you were making games to get a proper job in the industry. Do you seriously think I can work in a corporate environment? Lately, I hear there are a lot of people that make games independently. I thought maybe I could give that a try. I was thinking. It was fun working with you. So, if you're up for it, would you like to join me? I think we can make good games if it's with you. Oh, Sure, let's do it. Sounds ambitious, but I love a challenge. Besides, making a game with you was fun for me, too. Can you promise me one thing? It's all fun in games while we're students, but I bet things will be different once this becomes our job. After we turn professional, we might start feeling different about creating games. It might become stressful or even overwhelming. So, if we can't make games with the passion we feel now, let's not push it and quit. Promise? I never forgot. It's just that if I said I remember the promise, I felt like I'd have to face the truth. The truth that now, making games, had become suffocating. And I was scared to admit it. That's why I pretended to forget. If I didn't lie to hide how I feel, maybe things would have been different now. Kumare might have never left. If only I hadn't died in that one block puzzle. Shit. <laughs> and maybe we would still be making games together. If I'd just been honest. Chapter 9. 9th of July, 2021. Back in the present. Alright. Let's see if I can do this. Ooh, look at that color palette. Oh, this color palette's kind of fucked up, y'all. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna jump, and then I have to jump over you. Oh my god. Oh my god! Okay, okay. I think I can do this. It gotta be really twitchy though. Fuck. 
I have one more chance. And I blew it. It's done. They're never gonna get back together again. <laughs> I ruined it, y'all. But I regret nothing. Hello, Kanichan? Hi, Kumare. It's been a while. What's up? Well, uh, I was wondering how you've been doing. Oh, so you do care about me. My training period ends this month. After that, I work full-time with benefits. Yay. Don't I sound all grown up? Yeah. Cool. So, what are you up to, Kani-chan? Still making games? Yeah. Right. So, how's it going? Well... I did it. I made a game. What? I took it to a publisher. That's great! Not really. It wasn't received well. Oh. Got told it isn't good enough. So, if you had the time, if you don't mind, can you come and try play the game I made? I'd appreciate some advice. Hmm. Well, sorry, I guess you're busy. Oh, uh, no, that's not it. I was just wondering if I could give any helpful advice to you at all. You can. Because... You've always been the only one to take my game seriously. Okay. So, what's the plan? What do you mean? When do we meet? Any time's fine for me. Come at your convenience. Then, how about next Tuesday? Tuesday. 12th of July, right? Yep. Okay. What time? Any time. I'm always home. In the afternoon? Sure. Oh! Wanna grab lunch together? If you want. Okay. Great. We'll meet Tuesday afternoon. Get lunch together, and after that, I'll play your game. Does that sound good? Yeah. Anything else? No. Okay. Well, I'll see you then. Yeah. Later. <laughs> Later. Kumari will think of this game. Would she find it nostalgic again? Would it move her? I couldn't tell her over the phone. But I'm gonna say it when she comes to visit. Maybe it's lame. But I'm gonna ask if she'll make a game with me again.